living with my with my grandma when I was in Nigeria and uh, of course she was totally different from from Europe and uh, mostly it was amazing times that I spent with with them and and also uh, mostly you you start uh, playing in the streets with friends and you know that that uh, freedom and uh, and also the the friends that I have when I was young, so it was it was a very good time there. And what hobbies did you have except uh, playing on the streets? Uh, mostly, we, of course, we go to school, and uh, I didn't really have uh, any any hobby just to play and uh, have fun. And also, sometimes we we play football together. So that's I didn't have nothing else. But uh, did you play for a club or just? Uh, no, I, I didn't play for any club. I was just playing in the street with my friends and uh, just enjoying the moment. Yeah. And how uh, were you as a kid? Uh, I think I, I'm always uh, humble and uh, respectful uh, to my elders and uh, try to not uh, make any problem. But when you're a kid, you know, sometimes you can be stubborn, but uh, I think I was not like that. I was very respectful. And also, when you have a grandma, then you learn a lot from, from her because they have a, um, they teach you something else because they know what, what, uh, what the situation and they are very old, they are older than you. So uh, I learned a lot from, from her. So I think uh, I took a lot of experiences from what she has taught me when I was with her. What about your parents and did you have any siblings? Yeah, I have siblings. My parents were working a lot at that time and so I was not much a lot with them. And uh, my dad was already in Spain at that time. So it was only me, my mom, uh, my siblings. Uh, my, I have a younger, I have two siblings younger sister and the older brother. So I was with them and then it was just the same. Uh, we were with my grandma because my grandma was more at home. So we were with, with her. You were six years old at that time. Do yeah. you remember if you have had any dreams? No, not really. <laughs> I never dream about anything. I just uh, live in the moment at that time. So I never have any quite any dream. It was it was great and um, of course I was in Barcelona at that time already so it was of course every time then try to give in playing football try to give the best and also going to school and try to get the best grade because my, my parents always want us to be the best in everything we do. So, and yeah, just as I was, just the same person as I am today, uh, respectful and uh, hard work. Did you think that becoming a professional football player was a realistic dream at that point? To be honest, no, I've never dream, uh, dream of uh, being in a professional uh, footballer. I just wanted to work hard and uh, also uh, know that uh, everything that I'm doing, I'm doing it 100%. And if I make it, uh, glory be to God. If I don't make it, then still glory be to God. And that's the way I was, was thinking because my parents always say that we should, we should work hard for what we, we want. And uh, if that doesn't happen, we should just we should not uh, be sad or be uh, feeling like uh, we didn't do our best. So that's why we always try, in our family, we always try to do our best and 
that is what I get from my parents that always do your best. Were you one of the most talented players in, in Barcelona at that point? No, I was not. I was not the most talented player. I was, I can say, average and just a, a hard worker and uh, always uh, working hard day by day. And uh, I'm not a person that give up easily. So I will just just work hard and uh, I've seen a lot of talent uh, that's left people uh, and also coming in but uh, those situations have never like okay and uh, put me down I always try to be better than those talented players with my hard work yeah did you have any plan B uh, like what would you do if you uh, weren't going to succeed as a football player yeah I have what do you think yeah I had a plan B but you know I know until until you start doing it. But my plan B was uh, I like uh, to fix things. Mostly at home, I was the person that always fix things. Uh, maybe the TV got broken, then I just want to go and fix it. And or something got broken at home, and I want I w like to go and fix things. So yeah, I think uh, that was my plan B. That if I could make it in football, then I can do things like that to fix things in the house and then you know that is what I would like to do. How was that? Yeah, would you do you remember anything special from 2014? Yeah I remember because um, in that year then I was not living anymore. I was not living anymore in La Masia because when I moved to La Masia, I used to live with a lot of kids. But when I, after my uh, finished my teenager, then I need to move to my own apartment. So it was something different for me moving to my own apartment and then living alone for some time. And yeah, it's, it was yeah different type, different kind of. Uh, experience and then that also make you uh, stronger and have more responsibilities as well like cooking food or yeah like cooking that. food and uh, um, yeah uh, you know uh, need to clean the house and then uh, also uh, you need to know when you need to uh, pay your rent you know all those responsibilities that you are not used of used to it before that someone always do it for you but now you need to do it by yourself. You and Barcelona won UEFA Youth League that year. Yeah. Um, can you tell us about the tournament and how? Uh, how it, was for you? It, it was the first year of uh, UEFA Youth League. It was very amazing moments, amazing experience, and uh, I th and also in that generation we were not uh, like the most talented generation, but uh, we had. Uh, love you we were united and then so that make us to win that UEFA youth league because it was a tough and uh, it was yeah tough times as well because uh, in the in the league we were not doing quite good but uh, in the UEFA youth league we were winning every game and stage by stage and uh, we faced some great opponents as well but it was amazing experience. I really enjoyed it and uh, winning it for the first year of that uh, in inauguration of uh, the UEFA Youth League. It was amazing. It was amazing. Which team did you play against? And uh, do we know any of the players you played yeah, with we, against? Yeah, we in uh, in Arsenal we played. Uh, Hector Bellerin was in Arsenal, and uh, there was one player from. Uh, um, uh, Sweden as well that was playing in Arsenal at that time and but now he's, he's not he's still playing for the national team it's young Christopher yeah he was he was that player he was there and uh, as well of some uh, Alex Huobi in Arsenal and also I, I played when we played the final against him Benfica uh, um, there was one player, Gades, that was there as well that we faced against. And also in Chalke, there was a, a 
Lego is Sane. It was in childcare at that time we faced him and he was, and then seeing them doing what they are doing in professional football and of course it's a great it's an amazing achievement for for us. Um, you played with Adam Matraoui, for example. Yeah. Uh, do you know? Do you have any contact with any of the players that you played with in Barcelona? And I have one contact right now, and there uh, is uh, Sergi Samper, uh, and uh, of course Adam Matraoui. I played with him. An amazing player, uh, strong, fast. Uh, he was always a. Uh, um, is we cross in Barcelona. We have categories. He was a category a bit higher than many uh, players, and uh, he was is he was a talented in Barcelona. What role did you have in that Barcelona team? Uh, what position you had then? Um, when when I moved to Barcelona, I moved as a midfielder. Then after I start, then I start playing as. When I was, uh, I think, uh, 14, 16, around, I was, then I was playing center back. Then before I moved, I say, I say right back. So I was com combining between playing center back and then uh, right back. So, and finally, I th finally I decide, and uh, they decide I should play as a right back. And then, then I just take that position. Did you ever get the chance to uh, like train with the with the first team, or did you ever meet any of the players? From yeah, the I trained with the first team as well when I was a teenager, and uh, it was a great experience. Uh, seeing uh, yeah, players like Messi, like uh, Iniesta, Xavi, Piquet, and it was wow, something a, a dream come true. That uh, of course every player wants to train with them, play with them, and when I saw them, then it was it was a great experience because when I train with them as well, I learned a lot from from them. Did you ever feel like it was close that you should stay at Barcelona? Yes, of course. Uh, every player that play football need to dream that they want to stay in that place. Then yeah, I dream that yeah it, it was close that I should stay, but. The, it didn't happen because Barcelona is a big club and uh, of course uh, people come in, people go out and sometimes you need to, not all your dreams come true, sometimes you need to find other places to make your dream come true. Now moved to Fleetwood in Eng northwestern England. Yeah. Describe um, your life there and how it was to to go there. Yeah, it's uh, something different as well for me because I've never uh, went out of uh, Spain before. Uh, mostly, I've been been in Barcelona, playing for Barcelona in Barcelona for 11 years, and now changing to totally another country, different football. It was different but uh, still um, nice because I learned a lot because also the the style of football the physicality was totally different for Spain and it was tough time in the beginning but uh, and those tough times as well make me stronger and uh, I really learned a lot it's, I think it was a period of uh, learning for me and was that in League One or which league? Yeah, it was in League One. League One. Yeah. Why did you go to Fleetwood? Uh, my dream has always uh, I've dream of playing in, in Premier League. I've been watching uh, uh, the Premier League football, and uh, I really enjoyed watching it because every team can fight against each other, and then they can win no matter the name. So that is why I really enjoy the atmosphere of that Premier League uh, because they love football a lot. They are so passionate as well in, in England. So it was okay. I said I wanted to try it. I wanted to see if I can make it there. So and that is why I went to, to England. And how was it uh, except apart from the football with the food and climate? And yeah, it was totally different. Of course, it's in England mostly it's 
it's raining a lot and and in Barcelona you have a beautiful weather, a lot of tourists as well. But um, of course I, that didn't really affected me because I need, I was going to do my job and and but sometimes when you have not having what what you want that is to play football then those things try to bring you down and because the the, the rain the the different culture and the food is different so but it's, it was really it was good and uh, as i say it was a period of of learning new thing and it was it was nice what's your best memory from your time in england uh my best memory is uh, when I make uh, my debut with uh, Fleet to Town and also when I scored my first goal that he was in a cup we were playing against uh, Leicester City and then uh, I, I scored my first goal and uh, it was it was so nice and then uh, I will never forget that the moment. I was speaking to my agent and then my agent told me about the option of uh, going to to Haken, uh, first division in Sweden. I said, then I I say okay, that I would really like to to join and uh, come to Sweden. And then uh, then I came to, to Haken before I didn't know anything about uh, uh, Swedish football so much. Of course, I knew about uh, Malmo because of playing a Champions League. So that is, and also I know about TFK Gothenburg because of uh, the, when they play against Barcelona, they always talk about, about that moment in Barcelona when a player of Barcelona scored three goals. So I know about those two teams at that time. So I didn't, then I came to Aiken and yeah, I, it was nice. And what was your first impressions about uh, Sweden and Swedish football? <laughs> um what they used to tell me is that uh, when I was in Spain, they say Swedish people are cold. So I didn't understand why they were saying that, but mostly they say because of the weather. But uh, when I came, I really felt welcoming and uh, I really enjoyed um, being with them. And the football, of course, was not so... When I came, the football that they were playing is, was not so uh, intense like like now. And uh, now the football in Sweden is growing a lot, and uh, there's more uh, um, com uh, competitive than before. So now it's getting tougher and tougher. And how was it comparing to uh, English and Spanish football? Yeah, it was it was different in a way that of course in Spain is more with the ball to keep the ball and play a lot and in England was uh, more physicality and and duels a uh, lot of uh, yeah running and then uh, in in yeah in Sweden it's more like tactically that they 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 try to keep things more to be more tactical than that's than other uh, or in the these two places that have played for for Barcelona and in England, so they they were more tactical. I feel at home. I I feel I feel good, comfortable. The everyone in the in this place have welcomed me will call me very well and then um, I feel happy about that and then uh, yeah it's because it's just to keep uh, uh, working hard although that because we didn't have the best starting that we would want to but uh, I think now when uh, things are getting on our way uh, after winning us winning some games as well so yeah I feel I feel good in no shopping when you're not here at the uh, arena uh, mm. what do you do uh, mostly i'm i'm at home or i'm i'm in the church uh, you know i have some 
I'm going to one shop here, you know, shopping, and then so uh, and just spend spend time in the shop, spend time with friends, or as well sometimes reading at home. I try to read and med meditate in the Word of God, and then keep my my spiritual life uh, going. What you do in the church, uh, praying or? Yeah, we have uh, like mostly on, on Wednesday we have prayer meeting. On on Friday we have a youth uh, meeting that we can uh, gather together, play some games and preach, talk about the word of God. And on Sunday they have a uh, normal services, normal Sunday service. So yeah, from there as well I had some friends that now. We used to hang out together sometimes and then to, yeah, as Swedish people say, take some fika together and then uh, as well just talk about, yeah, life, everything. What are your ambitions for the future? For the future, of course, I, of course, for me, it's always uh, I'm here today, you know, you never know what the future can hold. So, uh, so just always uh, be reach the top. That's my, my, the way I dream, always be the best in everything I'm doing. And, uh, and yeah, just to keep day by day and then uh, don't rush for anything. So the future, so now I'm here and then I'm trying to do the best that I can. <laughs>